trade, which was held successfully last week. Um, right now, the only other waiver that I'm aware of in regards to the Lake County Health Department is in regards to the Sportsplex, which is still operating, subject to restrictions approved by the, the Lake County Health Department. Um, in regards to litigation with our customer communities, uh, in regards to the water rate increase that was passed by the Hammond Council, all of our customer communities have submitted, uh, remonstrate, uh, remonstrated against the rate increase, which was expected. Um, we are, we have asked our customers in the customer communities, which is Whiting, Highland, Dyer, Griffith, Munster. Uh, we've asked them as a class for a counter proposal to our rate increase. We haven't received it. It's been a month, which leads me to believe that our customer communities aren't interested in negotiating basically out of this, which is what we feared. So right now we're ready to go to court. Um, I know that there's a hearing set during the holidays and we intend to keep that hearing date. Our legal team is ramping up as we speak. I'm actually supposed to be on a family vacation. I am actually making arrangements to fly back in the middle of my vacation so that I could testify in this case. I think at this point it's literally gonna be on the 27th or the 28th, the 28th. So it's right after Christmas, right in the middle of the holidays. This is not unexpected, we expected this. I think the only unexpected part of this whole arrangement was our customer communities wanted us to delay this hearing until after the holidays and we did not want to do that. Um, you know, any questions from the council? Does anybody have any questions for the mayor? Mayor? Yes ma'am. Um, just curiosity. I, I noticed that we continue to have a lot of cars at Sportsplex. Um, are we, I understand that we have something in place where it's apparent there, but there is a lot of vehicles, um, which means there's a lot of people. Um, are we going to dial down some of that um, at this time um, as we keep moving forward? Because the numbers are still where they are, they're still high. So I really want to look out for that place and to make sure that we're not um, doing anything to help contaminate people or anything like that. But I have had several residents come to me regarding the sportsplex and how packed it is and how many cars and things like that. Um, are we going to do anything? There's no plan uh, from me to do that, Councilwoman. Um, I do want to remind the Councilwoman that our safety plan is being implemented rigorously by our staff. Uh, there is a mask mandate at all times required in there. Each child has to come in with just one parent and adults cannot bring in guests. Uh, there's a lot of cars because it's a big place, Councilwoman. Um, I agree that there's more than 25 people in there, but we've addressed this with the Lake County Health Department. Lake County Health Department's comfortable. Uh, I'd also like to remind the Councilwoman that high school sports are still being played around Northwest Indiana. Uh, football season is, you know, just got done, and they're ramping up right now with basketball as we speak. Um, I know it's not ideal. This is more, my personal decision. I realize there's people probably that don't agree with my decision, but I think right now, as long as the Lake County Health Department supports us, this is where we want to go. I, for the record, I did speak with staff of the park departments this morning, including staff at the, uh, at the Sportsplex, and everybody's very comfortable uh, with what's going on. Um, and I do want to remind the Councilwoman that nobody's forced to go participate at the Sportsplex. Uh, either you know they're choosing to go there and play sports and we do have rules when they're in the building but I appreciate your concern councilwoman you know and some people probably think I'm making a mistake and some people out there think that there's nothing going on but I'm trying to balance safety and you know at the same time you know recreation I think is important as well so thank you for the question Mr. Mayor I understand that. I just, like I said, I wanted to bring up what the residents are saying so that it's on the record. That I appreciate we it. Had this conversation that is not being um, pushed to the side. That everything is still constantly being thought um, thought about. Yes, ma'am. Um, as we continue to move forward. I appreciate it, Councilwoman, and I appreciate. I know how concerned you've always been about this, and I appreciate that about you. And you know, I also feel I'm I'm very careful. I wear my mask at all times in public. You know. Um, I am also trying to balance, you know, uh, I feel strongly about the business community should be given a fighting chance to survive and, you know, I'm trying to balance everything, Councilwoman, and I believe me, I, I worry about the staff that's out there as well, you know, and I do agree, Councilwoman, there's a lot of cars in the parking lot, and I appreciate you pointing it out, and I have no problem with you bringing it up, so thank you.
Mr. Chairman. Uh, 